YouTube. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Paint.net plugins today. Uh, first thing is um, we're at forms get paint.net um, or forms dot get paint.net dot com or dot net um, index HTTP blah blah blah. Anyhow, the link will be up in the description. Um, you want or if you're searching in Google, it's the plugins publish only link. When you type in paint.net pub plugins it's right down here um, anyhow um, now to, before we start our basically like small series for beginners and stuff like that I'm just going to show you the basics of um, installing a couple plugins and the methods that people have used on the uh, forms here uh, so there is an actual easier way rather than scrolling down through all this stuff here and that's just going to the plugins index right here and um, it will be all alphabetical ordered so if you're looking for something specific you can just like go okay well I need um, something to bevel something then you go under the B or something like that. Uh, I am going to use some of the more popular well one of the most more popular um, plugins and that is actually called bolt bolt bait um, pack I believe it is and um, it has a whole bunch of other like whole bunch of really awesome and useful um, effects and stuff like that so we want to find B O O bolt bait so we want to use this one right down here um, generally if it's saying use bolt bait pack 4.6 plus or whatever and this this version or any other version going to the highest one just use the newest version that they recommend so we're going to use this one right here now for this one this guy usually um, has the download right at the top here and then the donate thing and stuff uh, just download the zip and um, we'll get to that in a second I already have it on my computer so you want to download this and save it to your desktop. And the other thing that I want to do is go way back up here. Oh, and there's also by author as well. You can search by author. I forgot to, to mention that. Um, the other one is Seamless Texture Maker. And that should be right here. Seamless seam H I up more selection seamless texture maker, not the helper one, seamless texture maker. And you want to download where it says here is the DLL and just download that thing right there. And um after you get those two downloaded, um, you're going to have something around the lines of these two zips. And once you have these two zips, all you need to do is go into your computer. I think it's if it's um, Windows, you go like um, extract here or something like that. Um, I have WinRAR, so I'm just going to go extract. So just extract the, the zips and then you basically get these two files right here. Um, so these two files, there are two different ways of installing things. This one's an actual installer. This one has to be done manually. Um, so just open up the installer. We'll start with that one first. And um, yeah, this is basically all the effects and stuff that uh, is part of the plugin. And you can just hit um, agree conditions and install and it will literally find the location of where paint.net is located in your thing. I have them already installed but I'm just going to skip um, or override them. But um, so it will find where your paint.net is installed and it will install the effects in the effect folder. Now if you have um, file type um, kind of a file type uh, plugin then it goes in a separate folder so now that's it's finished it'll pop up that and you can just exit out now um, generally if you use the express you would be going to your C drive uh, to install thing the effects manually but um, 
because I have it on my D drive, I'm just going to basically show you where it would kind of go. Um, navigate to your paint.net. It should be wherever you installed it. If it, you use the Express or um, Express, it should be in your Programs Files or Program Files 86. Uh, it should be in the exact same folder as this paint.net. And then you'll basically have all the program files and stuff here. Um, like I said, file types like uh, PNG, JPEG, and uh, G GIF, um, those kind of things go into the file type folder for um, plugins. And things like um, effects um, or any other pretty much plugin goes in here. And you just place, you literally just copy or cut and paste them into here and you should be fine. It's never a bad idea to keep a backup. You can always, of your zips and stuff like that, you can always make a zips folder in here and just store your um, plugin zips in here as well. Um, outside of that, that's pretty much how you install them. Next episode, I'm going to basically go over how to install fonts onto your Windows operating system. Um, so you can use them inside of paint.net and um, change the font styles and stuff like that. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There's some more videos right on the screen right now that you can click. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.